Today's my actual birthday, and I can't think of a better way to celebrate than going to see some of the rare and endemic species that inhabit this island. So I'm headed just over the hill from the town of Ilwana to the Animal Conservancy of the National Zoological Gardens in Pinawala. They focus on rescuing and rehabilitating a variety of wildlife that are found native to this area. Dr. Evan Anson. Hello. Nice I connected to meet with Danushika on social media because I heard they have one of the animals I've always wanted to see, and that's the red slender loris. I mean, it looks yes. like the wild. It looks like a jungle. It, it is, is a jungle. It is. it is almost a jungle. This is kind of a semi wild area. I am Dinushika Manavadu. I am the assistant director of the Pinnavala Zoo. Sri Lanka is a biodiversity hotspot, so most of the animals that are found here are endemic to Sri Lanka. So our wildlife is very important and uh, we uh, wish to have the input of experts all over the world. Now as Dr. Evan has been working uh, with so many exotic species, we thought that his expertise would be good in our conservation effort for our wildlife and animals. This will be a home for mostly slender lorises, where we will have them here raise them up and maybe rehabilitate them to be sent back to the wild. I've never worked with a slender loris before, so this is a whole new experience for me. So today, I turned 34 years old. And what better way to celebrate my birthday than with this little primate? This is a slender loris, one of the weirdest primates in the world. And they are so cute and so cool and really fascinating and really different because they are the only venomous primate. Hi. What do you see there? That's an ear, you've got one too. Yours is much cuter than mine, okay? I'm willing to admit that. And you are a little hunting machine in the trees. A little arboreal hunter. Something that I find awesome about all lorises is they have a venomous bite. What they do is they, they lift their arms above their head and they have these brachial glands and they lick their little arms and armpits. They get the venom on their teeth and in their mouth and then they bite. That is wacky. Looks like you have some opposable thumbs. I'm sorry. These little primates are also endangered. And the reason being they're, they're losing their habitat, they're getting poached, and a lot of people want to try to get them in an illegal pet trade, and that is no bueno. You know, you're the one of the reasons I came to Sri Lanka here. Working with such a rare primate like the slender loris is so freaking cool. And they promised I could check in on the cutest little baby loris later. But first, there's a couple other animals they want me to take a look at. Apart from the slender lorises, we have uh, some endemic animals called the giant flying squirrels. Wow. <laughs> That is this, a big squirrel. Yeah. Hello, what a handsome hello. guy. She's called Kalukella. Kalukella. Yes. And that translates to dark girl. Yeah. Oh, she hello, is so Bambi. pretty. Look at that. And it's like a little flying squirrel suit. I mean, she's got like this cape from her wrist to her ankle. She's nocturnal. She's not active during the day. And so she wants to go somewhere that's familiar and comfortable and provide shelter for her. And that's exactly what this little terracotta pot does. Here she is. This, is. this is the giant flying squirrel. And you can find them in Sri Lanka. She's actually eating a wild olive. And I've never seen many animals do that. And she, look at that. Look at that little face. They have this flap of skin called a patagium that extends from their wrist all the way down to their ankle on each side of their body. So when they spread out and glide, they look like Batman just gliding through with a little head and a long tail. And they come out at night, and that's why they're dark colored so they can camouflage very well with the night time. It's okay. Oh, she's so beautiful. I know she's a little bit shy. I think she's being especially shy right now. I got some squirrel pee. Come here. What happened to your pants? <laughs> That's not me. Okay. That's the squirrel. <laughs> okay. I swear it was the squirrel, it's not me. Dude, I've literally been peed on in almost every continent. Awesome birthday. I think she loves you, that's why. <laughs> oh, thank oh, yeah. you. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, look Have at you. that. Kabukela was a young, giant flying squirrel living in the trees, gliding from tree to tree, looking for nuts and fruits and shoots. And one day, she unfortunately glided into an unprotected power line. Kavukela was severely injured, and she almost lost one of her legs. Luckily for Kavukela, she was rescued, 
And now she's living in a protected environment where she's getting the security and safety so she can be rehabilitated and eventually released. You gotta practice your climbing, you live in the trees. So you gotta make sure you can climb. This baby slender loris is two weeks old, just a little infant. And this is the cutest little primate little face in the world. And this poor guy, he was found out in the wild by himself. His mother fell from a tree and she didn't make it and there's no way a little primate, a little, a little loris under two weeks old is gonna survive on his own. All right, coolest 34th birthday ever. I'm getting to hang out with this slender loris. And this is the first time this little guy has been climbing. And he's doing so well. I know you had a rough go, dude, but you are just cute as the dickens, man. So I've gotten the special opportunity to get to work with him and spend some time with him and evaluate him, and I even get to feed him. How much does he need to eat total? Uh, well, we, we give him one this. This is, this portion is enough for this small one. Okay, it's just one okay. meal. Can you do? Yeah. Okay, very carefully. Uh, so very slowly, you have to do. Yeah, mammals need their milk. And you're no exception, are you? Since he's not eating insects yet, the facility's created a milk that basically emulates the milk his mother would be feeding him. Did you get a yummy meal? <laughs> Was that a little nice milk meal? <laughs> is that enough for you? This little baby Loris is left all alone, had no source of food, no source of protection, and was vulnerable to any predator that can be in that area. And he was rescued. He was given a second chance. Well, that was a perfect little meal for the perfect little slender Loris, huh? <laughs> you cute, hungry little thing, you. And now that he's been rescued, he's being cared for. He's getting the environment, the safety, and the food and the care that he needs to one day grow to be a big, beautiful, slender Loris. And eventually helping with a breeding program or released back into the wild. I've got a four-year-old slender Loris on my left arm, a two-week-old in my right hand, and this is just an amazing birthday. And today was awesome. I came out here because I wanted to see these animals and potentially help them if they need it, but I'm also getting to be a part of the conservation. And I'm so happy to see that there's people here that really care about their native wildlife and really want to get them back into the wild and help with their population. And I could not wish for a better birthday. <laughs>